It's time for our weekly garden tour. Hi, chickens. Hey there, I am Libby. I have a five month old daughter. I offer you gardening and motherhood content. If you're into that kind of thing, hit the follow button and let's get into this week's tour. Up here on the deck, the herbs are doing really well. The dill has of course gone to seed, but you can still use this in pickling. So I think I'm going to do that. The mint is finally making a comeback and the lemon and lime tree looks healthy as always. This tree is about to be just totally full of blossoms in a little bit, wait till next week. Roxanne right here has not laid an egg in over two months. At first I thought she was just molting, but now I'm really not sure. If you have any ideas, let me know. The fig tree is just full up. These blackberries have been so good and the whole thing is just full of them. Yum. All right, I'm kind of going backwards of how I normally do. I'm gonna start over here in the rows. This whole big thing right here is a big pumpkin vine and there are some little itty baby uh, squashes there. So like pumpkins and a lot of different fall squashes and gourds all kind of grow the same way. I think those are gonna be patty pan squashes, but I'm not exactly sure because I just planted like a mix pack. I pulled out a bunch of potatoes right there and there are some more over here. Now the tops have died back. I need to go ahead and pull these out as well. And this cabbage here is gonna be ready to harvest very soon. I'll probably give that one a couple more days. Okay, that looks very baby pumpkin to me. So I'm just not sure what these are. Here's a little pack of zinnias that popped up and some more right here. Then this whole cattle panel is full of tomatoes. I have the sweet 100 variety right here and these things are just loaded up with green tomatoes. This one has so many blossoms. More green tomatoes. There's this one random zinnia right in the middle of the patch and I just love that, honestly. Here I've got my watermelon vines. They still got a lot more growing too. Soon they'll be like filling up this whole area. And this last section of the rows here is all my onions. These are basically ready to harvest now. Once they kind of bend over, like this one right here, that's really ready to harvest. A couple of these could last a little longer, but I'll probably take these all out at one time. All right, first bed, corn and okra, really good. I'm not getting any tassels yet or any okra blooms, but this bed looks great. Here, our bush beans are starting um, to blossom. It's gonna be well before we have bean pods, but there are just tons of blossoms all over these. I have already harvested some squash. I always post this on my Instagram stories, so you can go check out what I've harvested there. I have a highlight, um, but there are tons of baby squashes under here. I'm getting yellow crookneck squashes as well as some zucchinis. So this bed is doing great. That one plant kind of fell over, but it's still producing, so no worries. This next bed needs a little loving. Here we have tomatillos and I see lots of buds on that. So I think that's doing well. I thought this was just a regular squash, but it's actually a trailing squash, but it's fine. These cantaloupes here, I'm working on trellising up this trellis. And on the other side of the arch, I have cucumber. There's my buddy and another one. And here are my lettuce.